No, so I'm going to decide to strip this thing down for parts. I'm not going to wreck the other ones, so I'm going to keep the other two. So. It's a pretty well made bits of kit, so I'm going to keep the, um, since I've already broken this one. Yeah, once you've ripped these uh, types of connectors off the circuit board, that's it, the air old. Stuck on now, never getting it, never ever can get it back on, so never worked. Let's get the uh, start with the passives. Got some little MOVs there, 3KV. Pretty good quality uh, MOBIT kit. Let's get these resistors off, they're going to be useful. Those MOVs are going to be useful too. Not so good as any. Got some conformal coating on there for um, protection. Let's get these off and uh, add these to my parts uh, my parts box. Do some proper recycling. Got some good goodies off there. A bit more to go, but I'll do that later on. I doubt the dog I can test those in the ESI meter, but we'll see what the ESI meter says. It's too high. It's been way too high for the ESI meter. Let's see what it says. Let's test them. Monitoring for a component. Yeah, it won't test it, it's too high. Way too high. Oop, to the discharging. One volt remaining. Okay, that one's still got charge in it. That one's okay. This one is completely flat. So too high for the ESI meter to, um, to uh, measure. Let's try this big Phillips. That one's good. 0.33 ohms. A little one, little uh, 100 volt, 10 microfarad. Not a thousand microfarad, 10 volt. Okay. Oops, I shorted it out. Let's go again. This is really good. 0.08 ohms. Got some good caps here. Good little inductor and some resistors. So, good for parts. Yours, this one's from Australian Stick. He wanted to know what was inside these uh, coil pack driver modules from a Commodore. As you can see, under that steel plate, some gel. And there's all the insides, little transistors, the main driver ones there. Bit of dirt in it, some gunk stuck in there. All the connections. Hmm, they're gel. Same sort of gel that's in IGBT bricks. Interesting. Very delicate electronics inside that. Very delicate. There we are, that's what's inside this thing. You can't really, uh, the ECE has to drive this. You can't just pin it out and connect it to a battery and expect this to drive six coils of a good ignition coil driver. Right back that way. It actually has to be driven by the ECE or the car. So, if you want to drive the ignition coils off this, the J car kit or board your own is the best way to go. Anyway, thanks for watching.